Nani's Walk to the Park by Deepa Balsavar. Once a week, Nani goes to the park. Today, Venki wants to go with her. I walk slowly, says Nani, and I take my time getting there. I don't mind, says Venki. So Nani picks up her shopping bag and starts to cross the road. But Nani, says Venki, the park is that way. We'll go this way, says Nani, through the lane of treasures. The lane of treasures? What a wonderful name for the market. The shops here sell everything. When Nani finishes shopping, Venki points to a gate and asks, Shall we take a shortcut, Nani? We'll be at the park in no time. No, says Nani. We'll go through the lane of beauty. In the lane of beauty, the people stitch amazing godis. A lady gives Nani a godi in which Venki sees a piece of her favorite sari and a bit of his ma's kurta. Shall we go to the park now? asks Venki. Yes, says Nani. We'll take the lane of happiness. Come, come, Nani calls softly and Venki laughs as dogs and cats tumble out of from everywhere. Nani pours the milk she bought at the market and they watch as the animals lick their bowls clean. Venki doesn't want to leave the lane of happiness, but Nani reminds him that they are on their way to the park. Next, Nani and Venki walk through a lane behind a little school. The children are playing Langdi, Lagori and Sakli. Is this the lane of noise? asks Venki. No, it's the lane of mischief. It reminds me of you and your friends, laughs Nani. Have you named all the lanes in the city? asks Venki. Not all, smiles Nani. Only the ones that are important to me. The park is not far now, but you will have to be a little patient. I want to stop at the lane of friendship. In the lane of friendship, Nani visits her dear friend. They were girls together and they have grown old together. They whisper and they giggle. Then Nani gives her friend a hug and says, It's time to leave. We will now walk through the lane of dreams. The lane of dreams has more books than Venki's school library. The bookseller sells old books for very little money and buys the ones people have finished reading. Nani chooses a book and says, let's go, we are almost at the park now. And they walk down the lane of magic. Venki looks up at the big trees that offer shade and feels a cool breeze. Nani shows him Gulmohar, Amaltas and Jarul trees. The flowers on the road look like a magic carpet. At least they are at the park. It has been a long time since they left home. Venki looks around and thinks of all the people and places he has seen that morning. I like your lanes, Nani, he says. May I come with you next week too?